welcome back to another edition of Running with James. Today we're going to give you our full review of the Takumi Sen 8 from Adidas. If you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and then don't forget to hit that notification bell to know about all things Running with James. Every single week we drop a new video from shoe reviews to training techniques, funny videos, whatever it may be. And then don't forget as well to check out our new podcast on all platforms. All right, guys, so yeah, we're going to dive deep into this shoe, the Adidas Takumi Sen 8. This is a racing shoe, and a few years ago, this would have been a max cushion shoe, uh, but now it's a little lower profile, so they've definitely dropped uh, that maximalist view of a shoe um, and made it a little more streamlined. And so this thing is light, uh, but it still has plenty of cushion, plenty of spring, um, has some energy rods in here to kind of give you that propulsion. Uh, so we're going to dive in. We'll start with the upper. We'll get into uh, the midsole. We'll talk about the outsole all the in-betweens, everything we like and dislike about the shoe. By the end of the video, you'll know if this is something you've just got to have or maybe something you should sleep on. All right, now starting with the upper. The upper is Adidas Single Layer Cellar Mesh. Now, this is a lightweight upper. It's breathable. Um, it's so breathable, actually, when you put your, your foot into the shoe, you can see right into uh, the shoe. So whatever color sock you're wearing, everybody else is going to see it, too. Uh, now, this is not anything new necessarily in the last few years. A lot of companies are doing this. Um, so it kind of has a little bit of a synthetic feel to it. Um, it's not super plush or soft, um, but it is very, very lightweight. Now, it has uh, several strategic overlays, uh, including this sweet, I love the little uh, white Adidas logo they've got on the side. Not only is it flare, um, but it actually works as a little bit of an overlay to offer some additional support. Um, has a standard lacing system, uh, goes across the top of the toes, not offset or anything like that. Um, and it has a very, very, very flat um, and low profile tongue. Now, the tongue is probably my least favorite part of the upper, uh, just because it kind of gets a little bunched up and it takes a little bit of time uh, to kind of get it in. Now, it is attached, which I love an attached tongue, um, but I think just because uh, it is so flimsy, um, you still have a little bit of bunching that happens. And so sometimes when I'm lacing the shoe, I've got to make sure I get that, uh, get that, uh, get that tongue flattened down. Uh, now, the uh, the heel counter of the shoe um, is very, very lightweight. Now, this is a racing shoe. This is a race day shoe for sure. So this thing is slim, um, and they have like really dialed back a lot to make this thing as light and fast as possible. So you have a little bit of light padding here on the uh, on the heel counter. Very, very minimalist. Um, and in fact, I had to really lock the shoe down and kind of, as I got running after I ran a little bit, go back, retie the shoe um, so that I didn't have any kind of heel slippage uh, at all. So once I got it tied down, my heel didn't slip at all. Um, but it is one of those things where you're not getting a super duper uh, crazy lockdown fit in the heel. Um, and there is no additional padding or anything back there to kind of keep that heel from slipping out. Um, but once you get it locked in, as far as with the laces, really wasn't an issue. Um, so it didn't have any kind of hot spots. There's plenty of room in the toe box. Um, so whether you have a narrow foot or a wide foot, this thing should probably um, be ample for everybody. Plenty of room uh, as far as the depth in the toe box as well. The only tightness I really felt was when I first put the shoe on was kind of here in the midfoot section of the uh, of kind of the arch of the shoe. It has a really high high feeling arch, right? And I think that's to offer some support. Um, uh, for those who kind of like sink in or whatever. Um, and so it was a little bit different, but once I did it a few times, once I wore it a couple times, the more actually I, I wore the shoe, the more I liked the shoe itself, right? So the first time I actually uh, got the, the other color, it was like a blue and pink color my man Tommy, Tommy has, so I wanted us to be team, wanted to be twinsies. Um, and I put it on a couple times and I was like, I don't like the shoe. I'm not a fan of the shoe at all. So I actually sent it back. Um, and then I was like, you know what, I got to give it another try. So I ordered the black one because I like that, or the gray one, really. I thought it was black, but it's actually like a really dark gray. Really, really, really dark gray. Um, so I got it in. I ran in it. The first time I ran in it, I liked it. Um, and the more I run in it, the more I like the upper of the shoe. So overall, uh, I would say the tongue leaves a little bit desired. Could do a little bit better in that heel counter. But other than that, it is super light and it is comfortable. Um, and it's, it's meant what it's for, uh, as far as the upper is concerned, to go fast. All right, so now let's talk about the midsole. Now the midsole really usually um, is where it's gonna come down to when we're talking about racing shoes, really any shoe in general, right? So the comfort of that midsole is really what sells it, makes it or breaks it, at least for me anyway, right? So the midsole of the shoe is Adidas Light Strike Pro. So this is their bounciest, uh, most responsive shoe, their most comfortable foam. Uh, uh, and very lightweight. Um, and then they've also put in what they call their energy rods in here, okay? So uh, for the Adidas Adi Zero Adios Pro, which is their marathon racer, they have actual carbon 
composite uh, rods that are in here. And so in this shoe, what they've done is they, I guess maybe to save uh, on some of the stiffness, because those can be really, really stiff, and because you don't have as much foam, they're putting actually like plastic rods that are in here. But you still feel the propulsion, propul propulsion uh, from the plastic rods. Now, now what they do is they're actually like little rods. So they go, you can see right here, they go right underneath the foot, right? So they're supposed to line up kind of with your metatarsals, right? So make it a more natural feel. Um, and I actually really like that. I think of all of the composite materials or the rods or the plates that they put in the shoes, I think Adidas, uh, the rods are my favorite rather than a plate because um, you still feel it, but it's not as stiff, right? So you can see, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty substantial, right? But it does offer you, you know, some pop, right? So you get some pop off of this thing um, with, uh, without the extra added, like, okay, I'm having to work too hard to push it, right? Especially, and I think that's really good because of the limited amount of foam. Uh, the foam is bouncy. Um, it does what it's supposed to do, right? It's squishy, um, but it's not like, like the Zoom X um, or even maybe the Hyperburst. Uh, from Skechers, it's not super plush, right? Um, so it's definitely got pop, it's definitely got a little bit of comfort, but it's springy. That's this thing, um, it's all about it's springy. And I think when you're looking for a race day shoe, that's kind of really what you want out of a foam. All right, so our heel stack is 33 millimeters uh, in the back, and then we've got a 27 millimeter stack in the forefoot. Um, and that gives us about a six millimeter offset. I love that offset, that's like a perfect offset. I, you know, I run anywhere from like, you know, four to eight. I'm usually in most of my shoes, um, and that six miller, miller six millimeter is, I think, is a really sweet spot whether you're racing or doing daily training. Um, so I've really been using this shoe mainly on my track days, um, getting and I ran a 5K in it, uh, and then uh, have done you know some longer workout efforts in it, but all of them have pretty much been at the faster paces. Um, every time I try to go slow with this particular foam. It's just not a super comfy ride, right? Because it's just not cushiony, right? It's bouncy, you want to go fast. As soon as you put the shoe on, this thing makes you feel like you wanna go fast, okay? Um, and I think obviously the weight has something to do with it, but it's that spring, it's that bounce of the foam uh, uh, coordinated or put together with the uh, with the with the energy rods that are in here. Um, so I like the foam, I like it, it's bouncy. Uh, enjoy it. I've tried, uh, you know, the Streak Fly from uh, Nike, um, and they're completely two different. I think they're kind of marketed the same way, but to me, they're completely different rides. They different different feels all together, um, and I really like the bounce and the response of this shoe when we're talking about going fast. All right, now talking about the outsole. Now the outsole is their Continental Rubber, um, and what they've actually done here is they've got kind of two different configurations here. Um, they have kind of a combination of what they did on last year's Adi Zero Adios Pro, where it's a very kind of a smooth, uh, almost like a, a like a rock climbing style shoe rubber, and then they have uh, some actual configuration with the Continental Rubber on the other side. Um, and so I really like the way they configured this. I feel like you get more than enough grip. Um, I've actually been using this shoe to train for an event called High Rocks. Um, which is kind of like a fast up tempo running with some you know some heavy weight lifting and some you know some different workouts in between and so grip is really important we're pushing like a 300 pound sled um, and so on kind of like a, a carpet type material and so uh, I've been really looking for something that's going to give me that grip to be able to push off I really like this shoe for that event uh, it's not as grippy as maybe some of the other shoes are but it gets the job done um, and you still get that added propulsion so when you want to run fast uh, ran it in wet uh, climates or uh, wet weather uh, ran it on concrete carpet uh, asphalt uh, I'm obviously taken to the track you can kind of see the red on here because I've, I ran a lot on, a lot on the track in it and the track was wet because I ran in the rain on this thing um, and I felt very comfortable even going around the corners um, so I think the grip um, does what it needs to do uh, in the continental rubber and I really like this better than the fact that they added these extra little grooves on here rather than just that smooth surface right so the smooth surface works amazing when it's dry but when you get into some of that the wetter kind of uh, surfaces I really like how they put these grooves in here because it allows you to keep the grip so I think they did a good job on how they put the grip in here and then they didn't put too much um, which all obviously means we save on weight all right, so the Takumi Sen 8 is definitely a shoe that you can go fast in. We've established that, you know that, right? Um, with a price point about $180, I would say it's up there a little bit. Could the price have been a little bit better? I think so. It's kind of in that, sh it's not kind of, it is in that super shoe category. So obviously it's gonna be a little bit more expensive because it has more technology in it. Um, it's a shoe that I think is really meant, or I know is really targeted for 5Ks and 10Ks. 
but you could run a half marathon in the shoe. I probably wouldn't. Um, you could run a marathon in it. I probably wouldn't just because I feel like uh, you might get beat up a little bit, but those who are, you know, more seasoned runners who are really used to that lower, like the flats, this is going to be a shoe you're going to love. If you've, you've, if you're used to racing flats, if you're used to doing those long distance and really harsh, harsh uh, rubbers and, uh, you know, midsoles, this thing is going to blow your mind. Um, and I think probably could be a really good transition shoe um, as you, if you want to try to work your way up to one of the higher cushioned super shoes. Um, so I think at $180, it's in that mid range of, it's not affordable, um, but I think it's worth the, the 180. I think at 170, 165, it would be crazy awesome. Um, so, uh, so the price point isn't too, too horrible. Um, and for, like I said, for a super shoe, it gets done what it is that you want to get done. Um, now it's counterpart, uh, from Nike is that streak fly. Uh, and so the jury's still out on that one. I'm still testing that particular shoe out. Um, but as far as going fast, I, I really think this is the shoe. Um, I would wear this shoe, uh, over say the Nike uh, Vaporfly at four or 5K, even a 10K. Um, but I personally wouldn't wear it for something, like I said, longer than probably six or seven miles, um, just because I think it would be a little too harsh on my legs and on my feet. Um, so what is our verdict for the Takumi Sen 8? Well, we like the shoe, we, we enjoy the shoe, um, got a 5K PR in the shoe, um, and I wasn't even trying to, it wasn't even a race, it was just a time trial, and it was horrible weather, and it was cold outside. Um, so I really, really like the feel and fit of this shoe. The uppers may be a little bit harsh, but because uh, because it's so lightweight and because I didn't have any hot spots, there's no rubbing, plenty of room in here. Uh, you know, I was able to finagle and get the thing to fit. You know, it's a little more work every time I try to get it to fit, but for the most part, the upper fit really well once I worked it out. Uh, so the foam, I love the foam. The energy rods, I love the energy rods. The outsole, I love the, the outsole. So for us, the Takumi Sen 8 is a must have. Thanks for coming in today, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, make sure that you like, you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and here's an important thing, share the video. It's the, all about the algorithms. The more you share, the better it helps the channel. And we want you guys to help the channel so that we can do more videos, we can do more special things for you guys, right? Um, and because, you know, we do this for fun, we do this to help you guys out, so if you help us out, we help you out. Ixo facto, everybody's better for it, right? So thanks for coming in once again. Um, also, we just dropped a new podcast a few weeks ago. Um, we're actually dropping another episode here very, very shortly. So uh, make sure you go out and check that out. It's called Running With James. It's myself, uh, one of our, our BC Fitness athletes, Lauren Inman, um, and my friend and athlete, Rocky, um, all put this together. It's a lot of fun. We talk running, we talk life, we talk family fun. Uh, it's a great listen. Uh, so check it out. Um, you can check it out on everywhere you listen for podcasts. Um, so thanks for again, once for again, for coming in. Uh, make sure that if you haven't done so, comment down below. What's your favorite shoe, right, for short distance, for speed, right? I'm doing most of my speed work in this shoe right now. Um, so what's your favorite speed day shoe? What's your favorite 5K short distance shoe right now? And if it's maybe something we haven't tried before, should we do a review on it? Maybe there's something you're curious about. Maybe we should go and get it and try it out. So thanks again, guys. Remember, when you change your mind, you can change your life. So tiny. <laughs> this thing is a little big. All right. All right, guys, uh, so thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching today. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to ask one of our athletes, Jamie. Uh, so she has been wearing this shoe for a couple weeks now, about a yep. month or so, yeah? Yep. Uh, so I thought it'd be cool to get a woman's perspective. So you know what I think. So Jamie, what do you think about, oh, like overview, like what do you think? Do you like the shoe or no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, you do like Overall, it. Overall, I like it. Okay. Um, it's much lighter than any shoe I'm used to. Okay, she lives that Brooks life. Yep, it's, um, it fits. A little slimmer than I expected it to for a unisex shoe. Okay. Um, I kind of have a narrow to regular foot, okay. so I think um, um, it fits me well. Well, um, I mean, it's a race shoe, right? Yeah. So it's meant to kind of fit a little tighter. Okay. So it's just like your first kind of like yes. super shoe or like like race shoe. Yes. Okay. So that might take some getting used to, mm -hmm. but so it was a little tighter. Yep, but um, not in a bad way. Okay. Um, it, I think it feels comfortable. My, my first impression of putting it on was, uh, I don't know if that's going to be okay, but okay. Um, after wearing it a few times, I do like it. Um, they seem pretty grippy, um, okay. pushing the sled on the carpet. Mm -hmm. um, they work perfectly fine. So for you that. got this specifically to do an event. High rocks. High rocks, okay, which is like a fast push pull kind of like workout event or whatever. But what about like just running in it in general? Would you run a race in this? You think? Um, yes. Yeah. What kind yeah, of race do you feel definitely. like you'd run in um, this? As fast five k. Okay. Uh, maybe a ten k. Maybe even a ten k. Okay. Do you think you'd take it further than that? I don't know yet. You don't know? I haven't done any long runs in it. So what'd you run your, like your, because you just ran a marathon, right? Yes. Okay, so what'd you run that? Um, I used the Saucony 
Pro, I think. The Endorphin Pro? Yes. Well, that's a super shoe, technically. I okay. Mean, yeah. So I mean. Yeah. So what? So if you were to compare this to that shoe, like what? What do you like better about this one or less? What do you think? Um, this one does fit a little snugger, snugly, but I did um, size half size down okay. on this one compared right. to my other size, so that could contribute to that. Um, it does feel lighter, I think, still. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, For and sure. um, I, I guess it has a little. What do you call it? Like. Pop. Bounce back, pop, okay. little okay. pop, little, little. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's definitely stiff, right? It has more, more than I think the sock needs to. Okay, so a little more spring than the sock knee. So mm -hmm. you feel like, so would you say this is for you a faster shoe than the sock knee Endorphin Pro? I would think so. Yeah. Okay, but maybe just not enough cushion for like those longer distances. Probably. Okay. All right. So you would say buy it or no buy it? Buy it. Buy it. Okay. Buy it. So, but mainly just for the shorter stuff. Yes. Okay. So. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. Well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for coming in once again. Uh, and thank you, Jamie, for helping us out. So uh, Jamie's going to be doing a lot of reviews for us. She's going to be buying a lot of our products that we're going to be reviewing uh, going head for us. So she's going to be sponsoring the channel. So I'm really excited about that. Right, Jamie? Uh, don't tell your husband. Down there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's just she's not sure. So, but thanks for coming in. And uh, let us know, guys, what types of things, you know, ladies even, you know, what shoes are you wearing or you want to wear that we can get some of our other athletes maybe to try out or maybe they're already trying them out so we can hear their opinion on it. Comment below. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.